we are discussing about gate 2007 ec paper and the topic we are discussing is electron devices and this question is common data questions for the three sub questions look at the diagram the figure shows high frequency capacitance voltage characteristics of mass capacitor with area of 1 into 10 power minus 4 cm square and also given permittivities of silicon and silicon dioxide we need to calculate maximum depletion layer width in silicon a 0.143 micrometers b 0.857 micrometers c 1 micrometer d 1.143 micrometers correct answer for this question is 0.857 micrometers we will see the details a simple mass capacitor can be formed by using metal oxide and semiconductor the abbreviation for mass itself is metal oxide semiconductor so metal act as gate terminal oxide is nothing but silicon dioxide layer which separates gate and substrate and substrate is nothing but semiconductor the substrate can be either n type or p type so simple metal silicon dioxide and silicon body that is substrate is going to be acting as a mass capacitor depending on the voltage we are applying across gates the mass capacitor may be in different regions like accumulation depletion and inversion regions for the question we are going to calculate if there is a depletion region is going to be formed within this silicon substrate by that time what is the width of depletion region we are going to calculate width of depletion region we are going to calculate in this problem so we will see this is mass capacitor capacitance voltage characteristics at any frequency the 1 2 3 indicates first we are going to discuss about um, diagrams if we are applying gate voltage as negative voltage that is by that time the voltage is going to be gate voltage is less than flat band voltage so first portion is nothing but this is gate voltage if gate voltage is less than flat band voltage that is simply it is negative voltage you can think in terms if you apply negative voltage at that time that negative voltage at gate can attract positive charges in the substrate we are going with p type substrate and in p type substrate positive charge carriers are nothing but holes holes will be attracted towards this point and now this attracted holes act as one conductor plate and this is another plate so this holes forming a plate and this is gate is forming another plate parallel plate capacitor and the distance between these plates is nothing but TOX oxide thickness gives rise to oxide capacitance which is going to be given in this way COX that is COX over here this line corresponding to oxide COX and if you apply the voltage greater than flat band voltage if the gate voltage is greater than flat band voltage that is greater than 0 volts but less than threshold voltage we are applying gate voltage it is going to be greater than flat band but less than threshold voltage by that time it can attract a small number of negative charge carriers which are nothing but electrons in the p-type substrate that is minority carriers in the p-type substrate are attracted towards gate side but they cannot move into gate side because there is a silicon dioxide layer is present which act as insulator so the holes are going to be accumulated near the channel region just beside SiO2 that is silicon silicon dioxide interface whenever the electrons small number of electrons are attracted but already holes are present these small number of electrons will recombine with the holes so that they gives rise to negative ions it gives rise to negative ions that negative ions is going to be forming a depletion region if you apply more and more positive voltage during this portion at that time depletion region width is going to be increases whenever depletion region width is increases at that time distance between the plates one is gate the other plate is p-type substrate Dist distance between these gates is going to be increases so effective 
effective capacitance is going to reduces reduces until it is equal to threshold voltage next if you apply a large positive voltage if you apply a large positive voltage for the gate at that time it can attract a large number of negative charge carriers which are electrons from the p type substrate out of that one few are recombined with the holes to form a depletion region and the remaining electrons are going to be forming a inversion layer that is now the channel is consisting of electrons so that region is called as inversion region since previously holes were present so now if you look at this diagram is going to be um, described at two levels one is at dc as well as low frequencies the other is at high frequencies if you apply dc would constant voltage for gate or low frequency signal for gate by that time this inversion charge as well as depletion layer charge is going to be normally unchanged the variation in inversion charge as well as depletion region width is going to be very very small for low frequency signals and for dc signals so now at this point this inversion charge is going to be treated as constant it itself act as second parallel plate where one parallel plate is gate so now the distance is nothing but oxide thickness only for dc signals this is acting as parallel plate this inversion charge so that now the uh, distance between the plates is reduces again it is going back to the first case so that simply the effective capacitance is equal to cox so for low frequencies the capacitance is going to again increases rapidly towards cox that's why this line if you are going with high frequency signal at gate as high frequencies input changes very rapidly so that inversion charge as well as depletion re depletion region charge that is nothing but ions as well as inversion region electrons will change rapidly whenever they are changing rapidly we cannot consider it as plate and again the plate is nothing but p type substrate now at high frequency signals p type substrate act as one plate and gate act as another plate so now the distance between these two things is nothing but consisting of two capacitances one is cox and the other is nothing but depletion layer capacitance now this was the whenever we are going with this is a highest width is going to be the width of depletion region is maximum whenever you are applying the more than threshold voltage because channel has been formed so now the capacitance is minimum at high frequencies capacitance is maximum in accumulation region and minimum in inversion region so it is indicating c max maximum capacitance appears in accumulation region and minimum capacitance occurs in inversion region the problem given is for the high frequency capacitance voltage characteristics and now we are looking into the problem this is the given diagram for the problem and where maximum is 7 picofarad minimum is 1 picofarad so minimum capacitance is nothing but 1 picofarad we are going to calculate maximum depletion layer width in silicon that is occurs only in inversion region at high frequencies so in inversion region the capacitance is constant at 1 picofarad that is minimum capacitance we can write c minimum is nothing but c minimum is nothing but the capacitance is two are in series one is cox the other is c depletion whenever the capacitances are in series at that time we can write the equation like this 1 by c minimum is equal to 1 by cox plus 1 by c depletion cox is nothing but maximum capacitance which is nothing but 7 picofarad cox is maximum that is nothing but 7 picofarad so simply it is 1 by 7 we can write 1 by c minimum is nothing but 1 by 1 that is equal to 1 by 7 plus 1 by c depletion c depletion can be written as 1 minus 1 by 7 that is 6 by 7 picofarads now we know the depletion layer capacitance from this depletion layer capacitance we can calculate depletion layer width so capacitance parallel plate capacitance is nothing but epsilon a by d now the d is nothing but distance between the plates now the distance is nothing but depletion layer width so epsilon a by depletion depletion region width 
so here epsilon has to be related to the substrate substrate is nothing but silicon so that here we are going with silicon we are not going with silicon dioxide so epsilon silicon we are going to use into area divided by w width of depletion region so from this one width of depletion region is nothing but epsilon silicon permittivity of silicon multiplied by area divided by 7 by 6 now substitute the values silicon permittivity is 1 into 10 power minus 12 area is 1 into 10 power minus 4 and this is 6 by 7 totally the depletion layer width maximum depletion layer width is 0.857 micrometers so the correct answer for our question is 0.857 micrometers next question for the same data for the given diagram the diagram is going to be high frequency capacitance voltage characteristics of a mass capacitor and area and permittivity of silicon and silicon dioxides are given consider the following statements about cv characteristics statement 1 the mass capacitor has an n type substrate statement 2 if the positive charges are introduced in the oxide the capacitance voltage plot will shift to the left then which one out of the following is true a both s1 and s2 are true b s1 is true s2 is false c s1 is false s2 is true d both s1 and s2 are false correct answer for this one is c s1 is false and s2 is true till now what we have discussed is nothing but the characteristics of capacitance and voltage characteristics of mass capacitor by consideration of p type substrate for p type substrate we are going with this one p type substrate this is p type substrate where we are going with and the characteristics of cv characteristics of mass capacitor with p type substrate is nothing but exactly equal to the diagram given so now the diagram given represents which has p type substrate but not the n type substrate so first statement is false second statement if the positive charges are introduced in the oxide the cv plot will shift to left that is true if positive charges are introduced in the oxide layer then to equalize the effect of the applied voltage v the voltage has to be reduced thus capacitance voltage plot will move towards left as you are applying more positive charges into the oxide layer at that time no need to apply more positive voltage at gate side so gate voltage has to be reduced gate voltage is reducing is nothing but you are going to get the characteristics towards that is for small voltage only you are going to get the inversion region so that the characteristics will move towards left so statement 2 is going to be right correct answer for the given question is s1 is false and s2 is true correct answer is c thank you